M, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, Yusek Mario, thank you for being here. Magandang umaga, magandang hapon sa inyo. Okay. Uh, I understand that you are a not a political appointee. So, naiintindihan ko yung presentation nyo kanina. At, uh, alam ko ang posibleng hindi mo alam nga yung vetting process when the document comes to the DBM. Di ba? No? Having said that, napansin ko in the COA report uh, that the VILP and the PDAF for the years 2007 to 2009 is roughly 80 billion. Di ba? Dito rin sa COA report nakalagay na ang na-release is roughly 115 billion. Pwede bang malaman kung paano nangyari yun? How could, in these accounts, what was appropriated by Congress was no more than 80. Paano na i-release in these accounts kulang-kulang 115 billion? And doon sa COA report nga pala, only 38 of the 115 was audited. Yes. Would you have an explanation how that came about and what allows for that to happen in your uh, technical experiences? Yes, uh, yeah, thank you, Your Honor. In general principles, there is that uh, uh, provision of augmentation of funds in the General Appropriations Act, wherein uh, deficiency in appropriations for a certain program, activity, and project can be augmented from savings. So, in principle, that's being implemented, I mean, mm -hmm. in policy and so forth and so on. And that is also provided in the general provisions of the GAA, the policy okay. of augmentation. So, okay. I would Meaning to say that the authority to augment these funds come from whom? Uh, it is the, uh, in the case of the executive branch, is the president, in the case of the Senate, uh, the Senate President, in the case of the Judiciary, the Chief of the Supreme Court. Okay. In so far as the VILP and the PDAF is concerned, sino ang pwede mag-augment ang Presidente, in effect? That is the power of the President to augment. The President okay. could be delegated to Meaning the to say, even if the budget is only as approved by Congress, 80 billion, Pwedeng maging 115, as in this case, in 7 to 9, or pwedeng 300 billion. Pwedeng mas malaki pa dyan, or even lower than that. Is that correct? The constraint there, Mr. President, mm -hmm. is the availability of savings to augment the deficient. Correct. So le let me get into the savings aspect naman. How does one know that there are savings? Isn't it that you only know savings supposedly at the end of the year. How does one account for savings? Is it done on a monthly basis, on a quarterly basis, on a semi-annual basis? Paano ba ang nalalama kung may savings? O di kaya, posible bang gawa-gawa yung savings? Meaning to say, hindi ko i-release ang pondong ito sa department na to, na sigurado magkaka-savings, at i-augment ko na kaagad itong department na to. In the general provisions of the GA, Your Honor, there is the definition of savings. Mm -hmm. And there are instances where savings can be declared any time of the year. So mm -hmm. it is not, you don't have to wait for the end of the year Correct. to declare savings. So it could be done any time of the year on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, there are conditions, Your Honor, uh -huh. that uh -huh. uh, stated in general provision, like mm -hmm. is, there is the decision to abandon the project, Mm -hmm. to uh, for some valid reason to defer the projects mm -hmm. or there are positions that were left and un, un, uh, funded positions that were left uh, vacant for some time and this constitutes savings your honor okay uh, thank you for that response huh? uh, this is very beneficial our discussion today is because we are also deliberating the budget for 2015 no? in a different committee no? now in your opinion, uh, Yusek, you've been in the department for how many years? 23 years, Your 23 Honor. years, no? Uh, there seems to be so many lump sum appropriations in the budget. The, the PDAF 
is a lump sum appropriation. Is it that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. And normally you have the special purpose funds, and then you have the uh, special purpose and the unprogrammed fund. Right, Your Honor. Huh? And they are, they are very big accounts, very big amounts. Right? Yes. Yeah. And the authority to release these amounts rests with the office of the president. Isn't that correct? In the special provision of its special purpose funds, mm -hmm. the conditions are set there who could approve the release. Like in the case of the calamity fund, it is subject to the approval of the president. The mm -hmm. release from the contingent fund, mm -hmm. uh, subject to the approval of the president. Well, however, other funds are just, are can be approved by the Secretary of DBM, Your Honor. By the Secretary of DBM? Yes, Your Honor. So there are funds in the special purpose and the unprogrammed fund na hindi na alam ng Presidente na, based on your response, that the Secretary has discretion over? Uh, in this uh, case, Your Honor, we submit regular reports to the President on the status of the whole budget, mm -hmm. including special purpose funds. Okay, so the president is informed. But in certain cases, a judgment must be made. But in certain cases, as you're mentioning today, the judgment can be exercised by the secretary of DBM. His judgment, Your Honor, is also cir circumscribed by the provisions in the special provision on the use and yes, the resources. I understand, I understand that. You said, uh, no? Okay. Um, So you do not deny, Secretary Yusek, that for the period 2007 and 9, roughly 115 billion was released, over and above what was appropriated by Congress. Personally, Your Honor, I have not seen that figure yet. Uh, You've not seen the COA report? Uh, not in its totality, it's just mm. uh, the executive summary, but mm. as I've said, as a matter of principle and as provided in the general, provi uh, uh, general provisions of the GA that mm -hmm. could happen, Your Honor, through the process of augmentation of a certain yes. PAP that is deficient yes. in budget. Is there any difference between the previous administration and this administration with regard to augmenting? I uh, I think the law still remains the same on the process of augmentation, okay. the conditions where you can declare savings and mm -hmm. use, realign it to augment mm -hmm. items, yes. Your Honor. Thank you, Yusek uh, Relampagos. No? Let me move on for today the, to the issue of the implementing agencies. And in this case, the DA and the two GOCCs, at the very least. No? Okay. Uh, for the period in the COA report, for the period of 2007 to 9, roughly 1.7 billion was released to DA. That is what is mentioned in the COA report. And uh, it was discussed earlier, magkano ang napunta sa ZIREC at magkano ang napunta sa na, ano? NAPCOR. Okay. In the release document of DBM, Nakalagay ba doon yung ZIREC at NAPCOR? Uh, Your Honor, as I presented earlier, in the menu of uh, projects that are qualified to be implemented, funded out of PDAF, we show there the list of agencies that can only implement these programs and projects, and uh, ZIREC and NAPCOR are not there. ZIREC and NAPCOR is not, not there. Who made the decision? So the release document was to the DA, in effect. Who made the decision that the, that the funds to be allocated by DA should go down to ZIREC and NABGOR? Can we find out from the uh, secretary if he knows how that came about? Yes, uh, Mr. Chairman. Um, as I've been yes. saying this morning, mm -hmm. there are two documents that I've seen, mm -hmm. 
and the letter of the legislator to the office of the secretary at that time mm -hmm. identified Zirek as the So the legislator arm. wrote to the secretary, requested yes. the secretary to download those resources to Zirek, to Zirek. Co together with the SARO number. Okay. Okay. Is the secretary authorized by law or in the budget to agree to the legislator to download these resources to the ZREC and to NABCOR? It's just a question. Uh, can any of our resource persons tell us kung pwede ba yun? Or does the secretary have this very wide discretion on how funds in his office could be utilized? Meaning to say, it is possible din naman na, okay, kung ito, nag-desisyon, yung secretary, ang dinadahilan ngayon, legislator, maaaring totoo, na ilagay natin sa SIRIC, ilagay din ito natin sa NABCOR. What about the other funds in the office of the secretary? Could he also release to Zirek and to Nabcor just like that? Or halimbawa, ibigay niya sa ibang, you know, other offices in the Department of Agriculture? I mean, does he have that wide discretion? Yes. Just just for our understanding, uh, we're not pointing any blame. Gusto ko lang maintindihan kung paano ba ginagawa ito. Yes, Secretary. Mi Mr. Chairman, uh, sa panahon po ngayon, Mm -hmm. Hindi po ito kayang gawin kahit sekretaryo sapagkat naka-line item po ang lahat ng mga mga programs na pinopondohan po namin. Isinusumiti po namin ito sa Kongreso at saka po sa inyo. Sekretary, sa hindi line item ang budget ng Department of Agriculture. At ito, linabas ko na to during sa budget deliberation. In fact, the budget for the Department of Agriculture is 39 billion Maraming lump sum items dito. Farm to market road, 12 billion. Hindi nakalagay kung saan pupunta. Ano yung lugar na gagawin. I mean, malaki ang discretion. Maliwa, 12 billion to eh. At marami pang iba dito. Meron pa rin dito, halimbawa, um, implementation of various projects, programs of LGUs, 8.3 billion in the 2014 budget. Uh, kung kaya't nananawagan nga ako. Dahil masyadong malaki yung mga discretion na sa tingin ko na mas maganda siguro kung ilaline item some of these amounts. no But I agree that the President must have some flexibility also over certain funds. No? Yan, naintindihan ko. I'm just trying to tie it up to the budget process. No? To have a good understanding how it works. Yes. Please continue, Secretary. Uh, that's the reason why, Mr. Pre uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, as early as now, nag po kami. We are advised to have the budget as much as possible na wala na po halos yung, yung lump sum. Mm. So, ina-identify na po. So, in the past, ang sagot ninyo, in the past, walang rules. At least in 2007 to 9, pwedeng mag-download ang Secretary. Halimbawa, in this case, to Zirek at to Nabcor. And may, probably they did other things also, possible. Di ba? Oh. And uh, because I believe in the integrity of this administration, especially of the President, na I'm sure they're finding ways to correct these flaws as well. Di ba? Uh, 